Hello, Adam Buckley from Water Power Technologies here. I'm just going to go through the manufacture of a four filter manifold for our inlet system. So what we need for our manufacture here is we've got 110 mil soil pipe. We've got four brand new Ceradisc filters. We've got four of the float guard and floats and guard kits. We've got an end cap and we've got four saddles. Okay, so what we need for the manufacture is a normal wood saw, measuring tape, permanent marker, rag to wipe down, we've got PVC ABS cleaner here, it's important to clean your pipe before you use the solvent. PVC ABS solvent, this is not glue, this is solvent so it will create a weld between the saddle and the pipe. We've got hand drill with a hole saw, this hole saw is 57mm. The saddle here has got an emboss on it which will sit inside the hole that you drill in the pipe. So anything needs to be bigger than this 56 millimeter boss. 57 mil is fine, nothing above 60 mil, otherwise you won't get a good weld between the saddle and the pipe. So we're going to measure out our manifold. It's important to use black or grey soil pipe. The orange soil pipe is for underground use only, so we'll go brittle and bleach in the sun. This is a floating manifold. We're going to account for the end cap and the spacing between the float guards. I'm going to leave a generous amount of space in between our saddles. So I'm going to measure at 150 mil and 450 mil, and then the reverse will measure at 300 and 600. And the saddles will alternate sides. We're going to use the hole saw now to drill out the holes for the manifold. So once the holes are drilled, we'll clean off any swarf we we'll use the PVC ABS cleaner to clean around the weld point and also we're going to clean the inside of the saddle. So we're ready to weld the saddles onto the pipe, so we've cleaned it off. And now we're going to apply the solvent to the weld point and slide the saddle over the pipe and seat it into the hole. We'll then tighten up the saddle using the nut and bolt provided. Once tight, apply a little more solvent to ensure a perfect seal. So our saddles are on, and now we're ready to assemble the manifold. So we're going to take the rubber coupling from the Ceridus kit and slide them onto the saddles, do up that clip tightly. Once the rubber couplings are on, we'll insert the Ceridusks into the float guards and then into the coupling. We'll tighten up that clip. Then we'll just push on the end cap, and you can put some screws in there to keep it secure. And here we have the finished product, a four filter manifold. You can increase the grade of filtration by adding more filter discs. It can be purchased on our website. You want to cut the pipe to the length that you need. We recommend adding a bit more length just in case you need to add more saddles and more filters in the future. And you can attach it to your inlet pipe using some non-perforated land drainage pipe 